thank you for joining me, bro. Um, every time I think about you, dude. Every time I think about you, I remember. I think it was IGC 2015. You invited me to the to the was it the was it a PLL thing or was it your apartment? I, I kind of no, forget. it was uh, a PLL house. It was a PLL, bro. I remember that, and I, I kind I I regret it because uh it was like one of the very few times I I, I think about it like every time I think about you, right, I'll see you post. I'll, I'll think about that instance, and I kind of regret it because I was I didn't know what was happening. We had our own things going on, but then like. That's like the PLL house, bro. Like, it, it, like I got to like, ha- I had an opportunity to be among one of the OG teams in gloving, and I just want to say like, uh, it's one of also the earliest instances of when an OG gave me. It, it felt nice. It felt really yeah. nice. You know what I mean? And that was always I I I always had a nice vibe with you and other PLL dudes. Um, and I think that's very special because I think that there's a lot of, how do you say, this connection between the OGs and the new gen. When I, when I was out there, right, I was new gen. And then you treated me with respect. You were very inviting. So, like, I just wanted to say, man, like, that it, it's really nice um, that you did that. You know what I mean? I, I appreciate you. And it was really nice that it, it's a fresh breath of air, basically. From from what normal people would, to- would usually experience with the OGs back in the day, right? But so yeah, man. Yeah, thank no, you. yeah, 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 for sure. No worries, man. You actually like it's funny. I was just thinking about that today too. With, um, <laughs> that whole situation because that was really how I started the PLO houses. Oh shoot! Inviting you because I really was impressed by Hawaii. Yeah, I was like, man, with Hawaii, since that first I am video that popped up, I felt super <laughs> inspired. But once I found out y'all were coming, I was like, yo, I got to figure this out. And it's just like Googling stuff. What can we do is there has to be like not a motel, but there has to be something on like vacation homes. That's the So I looked into it and that I looked into it before inviting you. So that was really like you kind of inspired the beginning of the PLO houses. Dude, what? That's crazy, bro. I didn't even realize yeah. that it was like a like a vacation home. I thought it was like your pad or something. Nah, it was what? That's, that's how it started. Yeah. So bro. all the PLO houses are vacation homes. Before um, before Airbnb was a thing, I was already on that. <laughs> <laughs> dude, well, frick, man, I'm I'm honored, bro. I mean, that's really awesome, <laughs> dude. Um, so let me ask you a quick question first before we get into like uh the nitty gritty. Why yeah. a lion? Oh well, <laughs> a lion. Really, it comes from like our energy. It really like started with Rasta, right? Rasta culture. It was like big with like. The surf culture and PLL really started in Huntington Beach, which is in Southern California, big with surfing culture. So all the founding members were big into skating, surfing, and that type of lifestyle. And you know, of course, a little Mary Jane. Yeah. So that's where, like, really, you know, that a lot of that that's where that line really started showing up. But it was really Rapso. So some people might not know this, but Rapso used to be a captain of PLL. So when he was captain, he would post a lot of pictures of lions. And that's when I took a short break from gloving. And I would see these things, this activity. So when I came back, I'm like, well, there's our thing. There's like yeah. our symbol. There's our logo. That's you know, it's not dope. just letters. It's it's a symbol of something. Yeah, dude, I love that, bro. And you know, you notice I got I got the roster vibe in my room, bro. Yeah. That's why I did, dude. dude. Yeah, and, I did notice that, dude. No, like I, dude, I love that because, bro, in Hawaii, it's kind of the same way. I, you you get a lot of those like roster like vibe, bro. So I really fuck with that, bro. No, I'm not I'm not really into the whole roster thing, but I fuck with people who do that a lot. I feel like just that vibe. That's like a that's like just a Hawaii vibe, you know what I mean? So that's really cool, yeah. like that surfer skater, you know, chill vibe. Dude, I, 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 that's really cool. Um, and as far as a lion, I totally get that, bro. I remember watching, it, maybe it was like Materia, but then like I remember y'all were like, like uh, peace, love, light shows, right? You guys were saying like this chant, yeah. and I thought, wow, yeah. dude, that's fucking that's hella vibes, bro. Like that's something that seems so rare. You know what I mean? So rare, typically, yeah. than what you normally see in in 
in gloving videos, or I guess you could say, you know, in just videos in general, or or, or a vibe from a team, right? Um, yeah, that's awesome, and I love the line, bro. Every time I think of that line, I, the, can I just say that line? It looks so graceful, bro. It looks so like grand, bro. Like it feels welcoming <laughs> and it feels good. And yeah, the what, the vibe that I get from PLL, that's the vibe that I get from PLL. So, um. So let me start. Okay. So who are the actual like founders of PLL? So the actual founders, this is a funny story. So PLL was started in 2008. Wow. So it was an idea that started kind of like originally for like a Ray family. Yeah. Um, post EDC. So the story is that the official rave, they all went together. The founding members was nocturnal 2008. Okay. Which is funny because that's the same, yeah, 2008, which is the same event that PM started. Wow. So that's like, that's just a very special year and event. I think so. I think so too. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually doing a deep dive, and I'm sorry, uh, sorry to cut you off, but I was doing a deep dive on like concepts because I would watch all the old YouTube videos. Um, and I was looking to see when like concepts started to like pop out, and 2008 was like, it was the start of like more concepts coming out rather than just like yeah. the, the murky type of style, right. From like Hermes or back in the day. Um, so yeah, I, 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 that's, that's very special 2008. Okay. That's even more special considering that you said PM PM and PLL both s- started in 2008. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah wow. Yeah, yeah. That's huge. Yeah. So the founding members, their names, their rave names are tricky. Gonzo. Onyx and Titus. So they're four buddies that grew up together okay. and they all started PLL together. Yeah. Wow, dude, I have no I have absolutely no idea who any of them are. <laughs> That's how far yeah, it is, bro. Yeah. Where, where are they now? Um so two so Onyx and Titus I never met. I wow. never got to meet unfortunately. Yeah. So this was like towards the bare beginning of it. Um and Gonzo and Tricky are still involved to this day. Sick. So they're always around and they're always the older heads that are like at the events, but they're always the ones that show up late. They're Got always you. the last ones to the party. But they're the founders, of course. You know, they're gonna show up when when they want. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's I, 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 how old are how old are they? Are they like 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 a generation ravers before or like because I'm 30. Uh, is, yeah, no, yeah. Because a lot of us are in our 30s now, but yeah. founding members and like anyone that really joined before me, we're all like 34, yeah. 35, 36. Because wow. I'm 31. Yeah, so they're older ravers. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. We're, Most of them were born in 88, 89, wow. 87. Wow. Okay. So what, like, Oh, I guess this wouldn't be a question for you, and it would be more so for them because, yeah, 2008, gloving looked like. I mean, when did you start, Thumbsy? I started in 2009. 2009. Okay, you're right there. What What did yeah. gloving look like in 2009 to you? So 2009, gloving had formed. Like <laughs> you could see yeah, yeah, yeah. cutting, you could see finger rolls, you could see ideas, like you said, concepts. Yeah. That it was barely starting. There was some liquid. There was ba- basically it was people pulling ideas from digits, finger digits. Yeah, which is, you know, the finger dancing. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so, a, that's a yeah. Two thousand nine is when I say like really like gloving really kind of started. It started before that, but like what we know today as gloving is oh nine in my 09. opinion. Oh nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's really that's really interesting that you say that. One of the earliest um videos the the earliest that i could find of finger tutting was in 2010 from munch so wow. <laughs> yeah so like uh it, ch- it i could imagine people were already starting to mess with the forms in 2009 which which is exactly it, it lines up exactly what you're saying right so the would you say that tricky gonzo onyx and titus were like there were there anyone else in that like uh in that team or was it those four and would you consider that like the first generation of pll or were it is there another group that would be considered or people that were add on maybe such as yourself that would be considered the first generation of PLL? Yeah. So I would be probably like towards the tail end of the first or maybe the beginning of the second generation. Got you. So the first, 
Yeah, so the first generation would... So those guys that I brought up, they just really would just play with lights. Yeah. The figure eights, you know, putting in Inovas between your palms with the, like, what we use as the clips for the gloves now. Yeah. Where you would put another Inova and you would have two here and just do figure eights. Interesting. And, like, glow sticks, like, little things like that. That's how PLL started because it's peace love light shows. So yeah. it was always just, like, a Ray family. Yeah. And then they started adding, like, meeting other people that were... um doing other flow arts yeah but it really started with loki loki was uh the first mm. one that really put on like gloves a full set of gloves and he was finger tutting he was doing like concepts swords and like theatrical things in 2009 so Bro, it really started with loki i remember watching a loki video i've never i don't think i've ever traded with loki i don't think i've ever met him but i think i remember tra uh watching a video probably like a while ago and he was very technical mm -hmm. is he more, yep. he's more digity right sorry yeah i, I should have kept yeah. prepared with look because i know i know loki's name i never he was never really someone that i i, I would search up right um yeah yeah but it, he is more tech on that technical side of yeah learning, i would he? say loki was like kind of like the the loki and teddy were like the most popular glovers before AO came out on the scene. Oh, got you, got you. Interesting. Yeah, yeah I don't think yeah. Loki gets enough credit. Nah, nah, definitely not. But like, in my opinion, like, I think he was one of the first like five that really added technique to gloving. It wasn't just, you know, doing yeah. this. It was like real technique, real some digits, some finger tutting, real ideas, and putting together a whole show. You there said wasn't five. that many people out there. You said yeah, five. Yeah, I would say. Who are the five? I would say I can't really remember their no names. No worries. No worries. They were, they were guys from like LOL. Um, there used to be a team called EOL, which was Elements of Light. Yeah. And they, yeah, they, a lot of them, most of them went on Lords. So that's why Lords is really known as like the team before. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say mainly like Lords and maybe some guys that started popping up that got on teams and like PM in 2010. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so Loki was part, did, so Loki was able to join PLL. Yeah, so he joined. Uh, I'm not really quite sure when he joined or when, uh, like, but I know he joined 2009, and I know 2009 was super big for yeah. him and Candy Creations because he was already on PLL and EDC 2010 when Norman, the owner of Candy yeah. Creations, discovered him and sponsored him on the spot. Wow. So yeah, he oh, became man. like. Yeah, he became one of the first, like, individual sponsors. One of the first. There was already individual sponsors, but because of how much work he put in and he started getting flown out to events, he uh, got PLL to be, I, I'm not, it's not confirmed, but we, I think we were the first full-on team to get sponsored in wow. 2009. Yeah, 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 team full sponsor. That's, that's really interesting, especially because it was KK, right? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, so you, Loki, sh uh, shout out some other names, some other names that, like, uh, within that, Dude, group, like, yeah, uh, what, before, what did that before, list look like? Before me, for sure, it was Hippie. Loki was like the one that inspired me, that got yeah. me to fall in love with gloving, yeah, like his YouTube videos. And after Loki, I would say Nikon. Nikon is oh man, like before morphing was morphing, before that was Nikon was already doing that. He wouldn't even yeah. complete moves, he would just already knew what he wanted to do next and just started morphing to the next move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so hippie Loki, yeah. uh Loke, is it Loki? Loke. Yeah, Loki, I call him Loke. We Loke. call him oh, Loke. Gotcha, but it's gotcha. Loki. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, Loki, Nikon, oof. Of course, Sunrise may rest in peace forever. Sunrise, he was, you know, close, uh, stringing a lot. And wow, before okay. he got into like, gloving. But yeah, that's how I knew PLL. I was like, they had glow, uh, glow stringers, uh, people that did um, like just regular flow arts, yeah. gloving. They all really did a little bit of everything. Yeah, interesting. Okay. So during, okay, so is there more? Uh, I'd say, yeah, there's a lot more. But I'd say <laughs> one more I would set out, Butters. 
Okay. But it's because he was glorbiting at that time. Oh wow. Glo- yeah, when did the glorbiting like oh glorbiting become like a like a thing? Was it around 2009, 10? Well, yeah, he's just doing it 2009, 2010 because it was yeah. him and also Team Vivid uh Chaotic. Wow, holy crap. D- just yeah. to- totally side uh uh topic, but do you keep up with anybody on Vivid? Just um Turtle from time to time. Oh, you do keep ever, up with like, him. You know, yeah, like yeah. Uh, happy birthday, you know, from time to time. If I ever bump into him, of course. Yeah. Uh, I think last time I saw him was the last IGC, like in person, the yeah. last IGC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wanna yeah. I wanna be able to talk to him one day. But like, yeah, bro, like okay, cool, but that's a crazy list. What what so did you guys have like kickbacks? Or it was like, what did actually, let, let me kind of like uh, take a step back. What was the, you said it was like a rave fam, right? So like, are, are, mm-hmm. are, are the, is this rave fam just like the, the, the first circle? Are, 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 yeah. are you, oh wow. So just the first circle group of friends, y'all are going to every event together. Yeah. It's like really like a family. Yeah, yeah. 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 So then I come in a little bit the next year, the following year, which is gotcha. 2010. Yeah. yeah. Wow. First circle. Wow, bro. That's, that's very special. That's really cool. What was that like? That time period? Uh, it was a little weird because for <laughs> me, I was younger, right? So when I first joined PLL, and the way I joined was very special because back then, it was oh, everything was in person. You can never yeah. submit a video for anything. Yep. Yep. But I got lucky. I just hit them up on what used to be called Plur Life. So wow. I was like following them on Plur Life, and then uh, I was sponsored by Light Zombies, and I just shared a video with them, like, "Hey, I'm a big fan. Um, just want you guys to check out my video, and if you have any tips." So one of the founders saw the, the message, saw the video, and responded, "Like, yo, I want you on PLL." Yeah, that's freaking dope, so, dude. Is, do, is yeah, there any specific? Yeah, so go through some like you know, talk to other captains and be like, I, I want do. this person. They're like, who is he? Yeah. You know, so that's super cool. Yeah. Do, uh, do you do you uh, have you ever figured out why why you may have been such a like? Oh, we need to get that guy. Um, Gonzo, he just really liked my style. He said hey, the, my video, like I had a bandana on, and I was just trying yeah. to be like original and very musical because I've always been into like popping. For sure. Yeah. Cool, man. Yeah. So like. Yeah, so like I've always like 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 dancing, like popping, like yeah. popping a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. I had like some of that influence in that video, and he, yeah, I asked. I actually asked him. Shoot, I think the, after I got made captain, like, hey, why'd you pick me? And that's what he said. It was just a <laughs> video, you know, the that's video what I present. He's like, I, I saw something in you. I'm like, yeah, right. You just yeah. got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay, yeah, man. So you're, yeah, this is you're basically really tight knit. Okay, so yeah, how often would you guys be going to like events and stuff? Um, so it was it was mainly the so the really tight knit back in the day was the OGs, the first generation. Yeah, and then it was just anyone else that was really joining was really just based off a of skill. So yeah. you had to put in the effort to go meet up with them. So that Got was you. really what I was doing. I had to put in the effort to like build that friendship with them, you know, because we're all shy too. You know, and just meeting like people like, oh, you're cool, you're cool, and right, we're all right, younger. Right. So we were still figuring things out. Got you, you know? got you, got you. Okay. Yeah, so it was, it was really like everyone going to Hippie's house because everyone would go to Hippie's house and his like garage, and that's where everyone would kind of hang out. Like got it wasn't you. really just, it wasn't just like PLL. PMs would be there. There's like a famous 420, um, what's it called, the uh, video where there's a, a party that was PLL and PM. Oh, wow. I think this was 2012. Wow, so how big and was that party? <laughs> that garage was packed. The garage <laughs> and the family room. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Dude, was it like it was like it was like a like a house party? Yeah, yeah. Sick. yeah. So that sounds like so much fun. Party. Yeah. So that's kind of been our, our like vibe. It's really Got like you. house parties and like kickbacks. Yeah, I never really thought about that. But yeah, mainly like what we would consider kickbacks, just chill, like not too big of a party with you know, but just like friends getting together and just doing our thing. Sick, sick. Okay. So when did like when did PLL start to get and you know, this is just just a rough choice of words. Like, when did it start to become like, yo, like, 
like gloving is like a big thing. Like, was there any um, point where it felt like PLL needed to take it serious, more seriously? Or was there ever a turning point where yeah, like the I vibe think... changed in gloving? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think we've had like three different instances. Yeah. The first one was before I came, I became part of it, which was really what, what why I wanted to join yeah. was when they got sponsored. When they became a team sponsorship, that's when they started adding people based off of skill. Yeah. So that's why I got added, right? It was still yeah, just yeah, yeah. off of skill, right? And then then I would say it was once Rapsode came out on the scene, uh, they discovered him because he went he was from the same like town, Huntington Beach. So they they kind of like brought him in and um and yeah, he was they made him captain. So that was like a big, like another wave where he really led the team and started bringing people on and that was like you know but everyone else was too chill about it so that's why like, <laughs> he felt like he needed to leave to go to pm yeah we were too chill you know we were so all chill. Too chill. got you got yeah you. so then we you know that we just had that energy of just being chill i think it really changed again once i got captain yeah then once i became captain so we've had like three waves of like instances where it's like three different movements Captain. Okay, for sure. Yeah, wait, how old was Rapsode when he joined PLL? Like, I mean, he's like super young, though. 15? Yeah, like 15. Wow. I think. Yeah, that's, 15, a tr- that's, a, that's a trip to think about sometimes. Like, like how yeah, young we actually like, are. He was 16. Yeah, he was 16 yeah. when he was captain, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, like the whole team sponsorship thing. Because I remember when. Our team got sponsored by the company over here. It was um, Rave Rock. Yeah. Like, I was like, holy crap, like, we're getting like free shit now. Like, we're, this is like, it felt way, like, it felt more serious. Like, I, I think back now, it felt way more serious than what it originally, what it turned out to be. But like, it, it, it was like new opportunity, right? Um, yeah. Did, 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 did anything, did that cause anything within the team? Did, did anybody have any like, uh, different, different uh, opinions on it? Did that cause um, any- yeah, but yeah. like that's why we've had a lot of people leave, like art because we we had like we I think I think we've had like a decent amount of people leave pre two thousand fourteen, yeah, and they would join PLL, stay for a couple months, and then yeah. meet everyone else, and they would a lot of the times they would leave for PM, yeah, because they would just meet PM, and you know that just felt more their energy, yeah, because we were we've always been the chill, like right, yeah. we've always been chill energy more about ourselves like as a group than trying to develop like yeah. me as a person right you know? like, i'm not right. trying to make me myself famous yeah. i want to make the group famous and i want to yeah. be part of the group that's really cool know? man I, I really respect that um d- like how do you feel about that like how do you feel about like uh i guess i mean like maybe you're indifferent about it but then like i guess i mean i would be pissed you know what i mean like me, me oh, personally yeah, yeah. Yeah, it used to, you know, I was a lot younger, so I was different. Um, yeah. I think that's why I decided to change the, like, how yeah. we added people. And once I became captain and I had that opportunity, I really looked to my older siblings because I'm a middle child and I have two yeah. older siblings. Gotcha. So I took a break from gloving from 2011 to 2012 and just, like, cold turkey for two solid wow. years. And I was just hanging out with my family, you know, just trying to be an adult. Because I was, you know, making the wrong choices as a young 18 year old. Yeah. Yep. You know, you know, we all do that. I so, get it. Yeah, I really get it. To my siblings, my older siblings going to family parties a lot. Yeah. And really just like observing them, like how they take care of the family, you know, our extended family, like the cousins and all that. Uh-huh. And I really started to notice, like, I think this is the missing element. Yeah. In our group to bring in, like, you know, because it was like the old school heads and everyone knew. Yeah, and it was hard to really tie everyone together. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm gonna be that person instead of really pushing Thumbsy as a person. Yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna push myself to be better and bring these influences from my, from my actual blood family and my relatives, and that's give so cool. this to PLO. That's awesome. That's a, that's a great lesson. Um, through family, right? Uh, I think yeah. I am had a similar. Well, not maybe maybe it's not a similar thing, but like, uh, were there different clicks within? uh pll was it big where they're like certain people would hang around people because i know in im uh sure you know we're, we're all representing im but then like 
there are still like I guess mini clicks within uh, I am that may or may have never like uh, it's very rare for them to be in the same room sometimes. Uh, was it was it like that? It was towards the beginning again, like yeah. the older guys. Yeah. But yeah, I really started to close that gap because yes. what I really wanted That's to awesome. notice once I once I became captain is like I want to look at people, right? Yeah. Like what is your what what type of person? Uh, like yeah, what type of person is this? And also, how do they interact with everyone else? And what is their role, right? Yeah. Because what really helped me was the houses, the PLL houses, because they were three weekends where I would get an opportunity to observe these people. And I would observe, like, sometimes if someone would just help me pick up, like, you know, pick up the dishes, clean yeah. up the house a little bit, I like you. You right. know, someone else that would just check up on everyone else, like, hey, are you guys okay? Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah. Little things like that. For to me, spoke a thousand words. Yeah, and that's really how I started to close that gap is finding like genuinely good people. Wow, because genuinely good people, it gets easier to talk to, especially when you're introverted. It's super difficult to talk to someone who's like it's a little bit more out there. But when you're Absolutely. super friendly, you're super kind, you're super respectful. It's super easy. Yeah, yeah, no, that that dude, that that that's really great. That actually warps my. I guess preconceived notion of PL like even more like uh, like even better like it it, it kind of changes the way that I, I guess I viewed PLL because I always viewed PLL as like this friendly thing but knowing that that's the type of people that you add into the group that's crazy man like I, I really respect that bro because yeah. I mean yeah I like I I I mean from all like the years of um just hearing about PLL it it. Out of all the OG teams, is it was kind of like PLL kept to themselves, and they were never ever part of the drama. And maybe that's because of the the, the philosophy of of because of adding the people in the team, right? Maybe it's your philosophy, yeah. which is which is a great move, right? Um, that's so yeah. freaking sick, man. What are what are some of the I guess uh, what do you consider to be some of the earliest I guess historical events that PLL? Has ever done, and that could range from anything. It could be like it could be competitions, it could be a connection or a relationship or, or anything like that. Well, yeah, I would say that is our history of being the first team to be sponsored, like sponsored. full on team to be sponsored by yeah. Candy Creations. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's a huge one. Um, I think Loki was the first Glover to get flown out for light shows. Wow. Yeah, I wow, think so. Like an I don't actual know gig, like a gig, like getting a gig. Yeah. Yeah. And so Norman really like loved this dude right off the bat. And he'd like Loki really helped push it. And it wasn't just Loki that pushed candy creations, it was other people. Yeah. But I'm speaking specifically to PLL. Right, right. So absolutely. yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, shoot. After that, I would say, yeah, like our 420 uh kickback that happened in 2012. Yeah, that's another epic one. That's super epic. Anyone that was around that time knows about that kickback. Yeah. Um, and I would say just the thing I started with the PLL houses, every PLL house that we've had has always been like an epic one. Um, yeah, definitely lots of memories. Um, People got put on uh, tryouts, secret tryouts. Yeah. How how were the tr what were the tryouts like? Like, was there a certain thing? Uh, uh, like, okay, so <laughs> the uh, I am had like a bunch of different tryout like like methods. You know, uh, sometimes yeah. like we would uh, do like a light show train. We're like, we do, we do, we, we're giving a trade and the next person comes in and the next person comes into the person that we're initiating. Yeah. Sometimes it's an initiation video, right? Was there ever a, a, a PLO way? So it really just depends on who we're adding, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, because, absolutely. Yeah, I think so most of most of the time it's individuals, right? It's like an individual person and they just, uh, they, it's someone that was hanging around with the family. They're basically prospecting because they're hanging out. So then it just comes to a point, like a big event, a competition, something like that. And then they get asked, but they get, oh, okay. through, I think they get invited. Yeah, 2015, we really started to change it. So that's when I really wanted to add people out of state. So yeah. with out of state people, we had a uh, like secret prospects. So and this was these were people that I were, that we were prospecting for like six months up to a year in secret. Yeah, and not everyone has made it. Yeah, we've had a lot like yeah. a lot of people that like fell out 
Because it's really just that. Like, how do you interact with everyone? Because the way we see it is like, this is an access to a permanent, like, for life group of friends. That's so cool. Yeah, that's freaking so, like, that's different. How, it's not yeah. just the light show team. So, how, what are you going to do to contribute? Because, you know, like, I'm here to back you up, whatever, no matter what, because yeah. I'm going to be your friend for life now. Yeah. You know, so I want you to put in a little bit of effort. Yeah, so, I yeah. totally get it. It's like uh, people just want to join just for, you know, maybe people want to join for just shirt. for the sake of for the shirt for for the, yeah, for the to, just to say that i'm one of the og teams in gloving right it's like yeah i, I totally get that man um as far okay okay you already answered the question i was gonna ask so like prospecting would be usually around maybe six months to a year and then they would there wouldn't be a like necessarily a tryout video they would get invited yeah, so now I changed it a little bit. A couple, I think 2018 is when I started to change it. Okay. So um, now what we do is you do like try out as a prospect. Really, gotcha. it's just give a captain that's good representing you a light show. And then you get gifted a cap with a lion cub. So we dude, call you a lion cub. Dude, that's so sick. Man, okay, wow. So there were, I, I noticed in our conversation, you noticed, I, I noticed that you said that you changed it. Uh, and three separate uh, three separate occasions, and I think that's really important because the 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 timing, the times change. You know, the times have changed, and I would only you know uh, let's kind of just go back in time a little bit. What what that really means, right? Because uh, and this goes for every team. I, I think this goes for every team that started like like two thousand. Uh, Pre 2014, let's just say, yeah. right? Let's yeah. just say, like, because, yeah, yeah, I think because it was either your, 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 your ride or die, like one team, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It was like, you got to represent you, or well, we would like for you to represent this team only. Was PLL ever like, because, because I noticed that you said that uh, a couple people did leave PLL to, to go for PM. Was there never ever a situation where they could be in both at the time, like back in 2014? Nah. Ne never, right? Uh, nah, yeah, isn't that? That's, yeah. yeah. It's, that's, it's, that's still a rule we carry from the back in the day. Because back yeah. in the day, you could only wear one shirt. You, <laughs> you could only wear it's one so shirt. Cute as day. You're going to you boss. You're going to boss. Like, what are you going to do? Like, yeah. suit yeah. PM, PLL. You know, like, yeah. You have all these low ones. Yeah. You know, yeah. look like a racing driver. <laughs> 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 Holy crap! That's yeah. I, I, what do you think about that? About today? What What are your views on that now? So I still agree with that. Like you should yeah. have your your main fam, your main team, and in my opinion, that's how like that's what you represent. Yeah. Right. Because so I'm in other things. I'm in like families. I'm in uh, like skill tags. But yeah. My team team is PLL, and your I still fam. think that's like. Because when you, it's like anything else, right? Jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. Absolutely. Right? Uh, how much energy can I give to one thing when I'm giving like 10% to four or five different things, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Your, your, fo your focus isn't just on one team. Um, and when it comes down to representing a team, who are you going to go for? Right. I mean, um, yeah. the latest, the latest, uh, comp that Teddy, held right there was a freaking crew battle like who are you going to represent in that crew battle i mean maybe there might be more um and i absolutely i kind of agree with that too um but i do believe that you know when it comes down to it if there are ever like a priority i am as dead now by the way like it's 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 dead but like if there were ever a time where like okay you there was you had to represent i am right then we would fully expect you to represent i am and not the other team so I, I i agree i definitely agree with you there um it's funny freaking nascar driver with all the different tags and the badges and yeah. shit right yeah 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 <laughs> i noticed that you said that you changed your your mind on when getting to invite out of staters right because yeah. i think that's a perspective that actually has never changed with i am i think i am will forever be uh, just Hawaii team, and it has no plans on adding people from the mainland, unfortunately, or or anywhere else other than Hawaii, right? And but I noticed that you know the OG teams. I mean, uh, PM did the same thing, right? PLL did the same thing. 
Um, kind of, kind of bring me through your perspective change on that. If it was like, uh, if the, you, you have to like, think about if, if like, hmm, maybe it would be a better idea to have out of staters to represent, uh, PLL because, you know, all the older guys now they're, they're, they're moving on. Right. So that kind of bring me through that, like transitional phase of that perspective. Uh, so yeah, it really started with, uh, this team called I am when they posted this <laughs> video on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, honestly, yeah, your guys' video really, like, because w- I come from where gloving started. Yeah. That's where I grew up, and I, like, really learned, like, it all started from Southern California. Absolutely. So really seeing that video and just, like, that uniqueness from guys in Hawaii, and it wasn't just one of you. It was a whole yeah. team, and it was a whole production, and it really <laughs> elevated everything. And at that point, like, um... I I had stopped like watching just gloving. I just had started watching Yak films. I don't know if yeah, you heard of Yak. I films. did. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Of Every course. girl so, back you know, in the I'm day like, would watch Yak films, bro. Too. Yeah, well. dude. So <laughs> what you guys did was something. I'm like, yo, Yak, like Yak films, but gloving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and once I really saw Hawaii, I'm like, wow. What else? Because I knew Texas was coming up, Arizona dude. was coming up, Seattle was coming up. So I'm like, whoa. This there's opportunity. This is opportunity for us to grow and to really grow the art because yeah. we like I looked at us as you know the legacy fans, the, the the one of the top five families that were out there, right? Yeah. So I'm like, why stay exclusive to just one area when there's we've got all these like young people flying out for IGC? So why close the door on anyone? Was that a perspective that was hard to take? Was there kind of like, um, how do you say? It? I get it. Sounds like that 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 mindset came easier. Yeah, yeah, for wow, sure. That's that's yeah, different. And, yeah, yeah, and all the older heads were like, "Yeah, bring them on, man, bring them on." Wow. Like, especially once they they got my trust. Once they got my trust, yeah, I really noticed they wouldn't say no to me. I'm like, wow, interesting, this is bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, really like, cool, I man. I could say anything at anyone, bring anyone up, and they're like, yeah, sure. Green yeah, light, bro. Go wow, they, 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 they fully instilled their trust in you, bro. And that kind of just speaks to, like, I guess who you are as a human being, being that, you know, I mean, well, being that PLL is the vibe that it has today. And just the the overall, because I think that speaks a lot to just the over your leadership and the overall vibe of the team, which is really cool. And the fact that the OGs of PLL or the older heads are like, yeah, man, just go ahead and do it. I think that's so cool. That's so different versus the cutthroat. No, they can't. You know what I mean? I mean, granted, I understand there were maybe some prospects that didn't make it, but it, it just feels a, a lot more friendlier compared to all the other teams, man. That's so special to be. That's so special. Um. So okay, 2018. Yeah, yeah. That that's when the 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 switch happened. Who was the first? Uh, I guess out of stater to be uh, try out. I guess for PLL. First out of state. Hmm. When the perspective change happened. Question. Yeah. I think it was okay. Now I remember. So at that that house, that first uh, PLL house, um, I also invited some of the guys from Seattle. So it was some of the UV guys. Our first out of staters was the first time we had our private Christmas party that we called Dankmas. So we had <laughs> Dankmas, yeah, and. Uh, and we had a tryout for our secret prospects, which was Morgan, uh, Tangles. Yeah, Tangles. Uh, Mega Sloth and Blast Off Sloth. So they were our first, like, oh, out of shit. staters. Although Morgan was from San Diego, she had just moved out. But technically, yeah, our first out of staters were those three. And like, they, got, together, they all got in. They all got in. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like you said, like, wow. the, like the light show. Like, Holy yeah, it was like, my, my first event as, like, uh, no, it wasn't my first event. It was our first Christmas party, but we all the captains were together at that time. So we all sat down in one corner of the room because there was a room we saw. OK, so we got a big ass mansion and it was three levels. And at the bottom level, <laughs> there was like a club room. So that's where we had the tryouts. Oh. So all the captains were on one side of the room and I sat down. And I got the shows. Yeah. So then we had them <laughs> come in one by one and do a show. And then at the very end, we're like, all right, guys, so 
here's our verdict. And I just pull up everyone's shirt. Dude, that is that sounds so hype, bro. Who were the captains at the time? We had a lot of captains at that time because uh so PLL never really like we had we made a captain. Well, they made a captain because I was it was people that were made captains before me. They were made captains, but we never like dropped captains. Okay. So at that point, I think we had like six. Wow. That's a lot yeah. of captains. Holy crap. Yeah. 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 Do, yeah. You, do you remember them all at the top of your head? Yeah. Uh Lumi, Lumiere. Um so Gonzo, Tricky, Founders, Hippie, Loki, Sunrise, and Sid. 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 And, and myself. Sid. S Y D. Yeah, he's oh, not S-Y-D. really like Yeah, S Y D. Got you, got you. Okay, do you yeah, and then you okay, so you guys had already planned to get them shirts. You guys yeah, already got it yeah, done. That's I, really cool. Well, I, I pretty much would plan everything. Like, I really, like, changed it up. Like I said, learning from my siblings and all that. So I really wanted, like, hey, let's make tryouts special. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool. I would go ask the captains, present the shirts, be like, hey, these are the people I want to add this week. And then they're like, whoa, these shirts are cool. Go yeah, for it. All right, dude. cool. I got the green light. We're good. So I would just, like, talk to the DJs and be like, all right, whoever's DJing, We'll figure this out at this hour. We're gonna have this tryouts and we're gonna have everything ready. So I would basically set everything up and have everything lined up so I could get a yes and make everything as smooth and as rewarding as possible. That's so freaking sick, man. You know, when I think about 2018, in terms of like relative to just like gloving history, it's not so yeah. far off, right? It's not so far away. I mean, yeah, it was like uh well, I can't do math right now, but like it was it was kind of a while ago, about six years ago or something like that. I can't do math. Yeah. Um, but like that whole 2019 to, I guess now that part never really, it seemed like it never really existed. Right. So like, there's a whole bunch of nothing. Oh, I mean, a couple big no, yeah, things yeah, happening, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but then like 2018, that that's pretty recent in terms of all of gloving history. So like, just to think mm-hmm. of those names, um, how many out of stater, uh, Glover Glovers did PLL in total invite because I uh, did it. Is it Materia on PLL and Vex is on PLL? Yeah. 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 yeah Materia, Vex, uh, Sean, you just interviewed. Uh, so sh- yeah. uh, we have, uh, yeah, Biometric. We yeah. also have another buddy in Arizona. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Yeah. Chris is in Arizona. Uh, Hypnotoad. Uh, who else? Who else? Yeah, I think I think that would be it. We don't have a lot of out of staters. Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Washington. Oh, yeah. Aviv. Of course. Oh, Aviv. 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 Oh, wow. Aviv. I haven't seen that guy post in a in a minute, dude. Um yeah. cool, man. And that was that was everything was after 2018, obviously, right? Because when did like materia but I, dude, I, I think it was that Materia video where I was like, yo, that's that's just so dope. It's just a vibe, bro. I think it was that Materia video where I kind of understood uh PLL PLL's vibe just a little bit more. But like, when did Materia get added? Do you remember do you remember? Yeah, 2020. Uh 4KC. 2020. That was 4KC? Holy crap. Yep. That's a trip. Yeah, Vex one. <laughs> Let's go, bro. I remember, like, was it was it like a thing, or was that maybe was it Vex I did where he did like the, like the like he he did something like that. Is that just a Vex thing, or is that a PLL? Thing? Yeah, that's no, that's a Vex thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I will say, I will say, you know, uh, and I was talking about this to Jacob the other day. I thought that it was pretty amazing that PLL picked up Vex because Dude, yeah, me because too. <laughs> because you know. Um, go back to Amazing Lights uh, sponsorship days. I mean, it was I was hanging out with Vex and all the PM dudes. Like, and then yeah. so in my head, I was like, naturally, you know, okay, uh, sooner or later, um, you're gonna see uh PM Alt uh, uh Vex, right? Yeah. And then he took the PLL tag. I was like, yo, what? That's different. Like, I was like, wow, that's 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 huge. Right, probably the biggest pickup in my opinion. I get it all gloving his yeah, no, yeah, 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 for sure. Well, yeah, how how for did sure, that really. how did that come to be? 
Um, through mutual friendships, really, just like people we were prospecting and he was getting to know us. And it's really just that, like, he really asked me, you know, like, I, wow. I, I don't, I don't remember if I asked him or he asked me, yeah. but we had a conversation about it. And he's like, I've been thinking about it because he was trying to think of where he fits and the energy that he wants to grow with. Yeah. Because he was a young, very young man. Yeah. Very young boy. Right, right. <laughs> so right. he's just being mindful of his future and his influences. And he picked PLL. Yeah. That's so that's so dope, dude. That's it's, it's an it's an interesting um move that doesn't really uh I mean, well, for me out I, I it's to me it's a big question, right? I mean maybe other people's but then it's like if you were like there in the whole thing and like if you saw us, I was like, Okay, yeah, we're we're with PM all the time. Okay, yeah. Vex PM makes sense, but, but it's, that's interesting because yeah, the, finding out your, where you belong, that was it's such a huge, I mean, even till this day, right? I feel like it's, it's, it's weirder because like everything's online, like the vibe of who yeah. you are, uh, like where you belong online, it's not quite the same because you, you really don't know who these people are online but then when you're at kickbacks oh you know who the hell that what that person is all you know their vibe right and i, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. i think i think i guess jake even jacob from knowing for what i know about jacob him picking pll again it speaks to the vibe bro like that is that's such a huge thing in my opinion um cool brother that's that's uh, so freaking amazing like so i remember was it mirage part of pll yeah 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 is he he's yeah, still part of pll right yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still he's still a captain. Oh, yeah. let's go. Yeah, no, because I remember I, I I forgot what competition it was. Um, it might have been. Didn't he win like a GMO? Was it GMO or something like that? Yeah. I forget. Yeah, it was GMO. GMO. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sick. Bro. Was PLL ever like, like competitively, competitively like? Yeah, we have to win. We're gonna have discussions. We're gonna lab. Was it ever like that, or is it more of like a good luck, man? Like, like you got this type of type of vibe. Not like it, it, it really it, that kind of came on for a short period. Yeah, I would say, shoot, two thousand. Once they got sponsored by Amazing, so I think that was two thousand thirteen mm. was when they were competing a lot. And then I would go into events like bosses. Once bosses were being held, when when I first got captain, I was going to bosses to rep PLL. Yeah, but yeah, I think I really put that onto new people. Yeah. So that was really my objective to go to bosses or IGCs and see who's competing and oh, you're pick up scouting. Speed. Yeah, you're scouting at yeah. these bigger yeah. events. Wow. Yeah. I yeah, like I said, I never really went to anything to represent myself. I always went with the family in mind. Like always scouting, always looking and always judging, you know, judging yeah. people that are trying to get on too. Yeah. Like, yeah, all right, yeah. how do you interact with everyone? Right, right, yeah. right. It's 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 it's, I have to put myself in a different state of mind because it's kind of like not just how good you are, but like you're looking for these small things to, to yes. really ch to, to, to find like hints of the character, right? Um, yes, exactly. So There's a way I like simplified it is like your skill will get my attention, right? Yeah. Your skill will get my attention, but it's your personality that will win my friendship. Yeah. Oh, that's so, that's really cool, bro. I appreciate it. That's, that's really cool, man. That's yeah, really yeah, yeah. respectable, brother. There. Okay. So I have there been any challenges within PLL be, uh, since ever because of COVID? Yeah. I think right now we're like, yeah. You know, like not, you don't see videos by us. Some people might think we're dead. There's new glovers out there that don't know who the hell PLL is. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you know, I noticed that, yeah, there is back in the day, you would hear people, uh, you would hear more people asking about like the, the older teens, but then nowadays you don't quite get that. And it's not really anyone's fault. It's just, that's just, it is what it is type of thing. And I guess because the newer gen doesn't know what to ask right uh I, yeah it, newer gen doesn't know what to ask and their their upbringing nowadays is probably through tiktok or instagram um and you, you don't you wouldn't think to ask oh like the og teams i i could imagine that the back in the day you would see a lot more gloving content through let's say amazing where it was very rave mm -hmm. culture lots of events way more event shows like you 
you get a couple event shows here and there, which is really nice. Actually, I take that back. You still see a lot, but I, I guess today, right, you would look at gloving and you wouldn't, I mean, sometimes you won't even think that it's from like an event thing. It's just like a thing that people just, do on their spare time because there's a lot of content out there. There's a lot of bedroom light shows out there is what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but do you, I guess one of the challenges is just everybody is, it feels more disconnected. Yeah. 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 What do you think? Yeah. Do you think that that problem will, will ever fail? Fix because I, I mean it, I know it's a weird question to ask because uh, I'm having the right I guess we're trying to come up with the with the best way to formulate the question, but like do you think that there will ever be a point where like it feels more tight knit again or like it doesn't feel so separated within PLL? Um, no, yeah, I think we're we actually have uh, so since. We haven't really had opportunity to get together. I put something together for us. So yeah. we do have like a little camp out. So you will, you guys will see content from us uh, uh, August because peaceful oh. lagging, right? Our oh, gathering yeah, yeah. in July, we're going to lag it a little bit. So like August, you'll start seeing content from us. But yeah, we have a big gathering coming up that I've been putting together out in uh, Southern Cali for all of Sick. us to fly out and to hang out. Yeah. And to, of course, you know, see, see what happens. We're inviting some friends. Oh so, shit! Sounds like <laughs> sounds like you're gonna add a new, okay, new right, lion, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what happens, you know? Dude, so, that sounds hype, yeah, man, bro. I, yeah, I think the biggest thing is to you know if if like these old school fans really want to come back, it's just be present, just be present. Absolutely, show up. man. Yeah, yeah, I mean the up. only the only team that's saying uh, making noise is PM, obviously, right? Like the, you yeah. haven't seen a lot of AO, like you haven't seen the PLL. So I'm I'm glad that there are plans. Is this person that you plan on bringing them on somebody that everybody knows, or is this like you, you know? Yeah, I got to say, I got say because <laughs> oh, I don't want them to be all yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got you. I respect that. And I like, respect you know, that. Like, oh, I I got this thing coming up. The bet it's gonna be me, uh, dude. Do you, do, you, saying it is. do you see any uh do you foresee any like future like are there any like future like bigger plans for PLL? Like do you guys plan yeah. on yeah, you, you do? That's freaking sick, man. Uh, yeah, huge. Yeah, I actually so this is a test run. Something I've been wanting to do is to like throw a like I guess a PLL house for all the legacy families. Wow. So I was I was working on something like that. But the pandemic stopped that. It completely shut down that idea. We were we had like everything locked in. But um, so yeah, I put that really idea to rest. So this camp out is actually a little test run to bring everyone back together, see what equipment we have, because we have put on renegades, like our own renegade stages at festivals. So what I want to do is to put together like a camping festival for gloving. Wow. I want to invite, like, have all these legacy fans come out, invite them, collaborate with them, and really try to create, like, a camping festival catered to gloving. Because I know there's something I can really put together because I just, I know I have the skill to put the right team together of people to help me put this together. Yeah. And really grow gloving. You're the producer. Yeah, Yeah. that's what gloving really needs because we've had competitions and competitions are cool. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's super cool to see like gloving families, gloving teams do this on their own. Even Teddy doing it by himself. Yeah, you know. But what we need is like a good environment and a good weekend to just be together. Absolutely. So I think this would be like that is something I'm putting together. So I'm looking at some properties in California. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll once once I have the property locked in. I have more information, but that's like something big that I've been planning is really just to gift something big to gloving. That's so freaking cool, man. And I know that you, you said legacy teams, right? Could you, could you list down the legacy teams that you feel like everybody needs to, to, to learn, to know? Of course, Lords, the yeah, first yeah. big team, Lords <laughs> of light. Yeah. You know, if I could somehow get team vivid out there, team vivid. Oh my God, man. Cause I miss saying out with team vivid. That was my first sponsor fucking orbit light show yeah you know yeah uh ao of course pm you know um i would say tnt yeah tnt yeah dude tnt yeah 
But yeah, yeah those are like the really like the California legacy fans. That they really truly at. are. Great. Yeah, yeah, they truly are. I feel like, yeah, because I mean, I, I, I'm trying to think if there's even one missing or at least the during like when when gloving started to become like it you know what i mean when when yeah. gloving started to become glove like gloving right like yeah i i don't know if i if, if they're, they're you're missing any these are basically yeah these are basically it yeah because i would say like everyone brings what up about SS, team e but... or ss there we yeah, go my, all, all these <laughs> after a year anymore yeah. <laughs> yeah like i'm shapeshifters don't get me wrong shapeshifters had its moment but when i started gloving shapeshifters was like a b b league team yeah like they were like yeah the team you would get on when you first start and then you meet all the real big big dogs. right 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 yeah. right what but do you then think they the- blew up oh and then they blew up yeah and then, blew yeah, up. Yeah. And then ss yeah. did yeah. uh what do you call that oh frick I-, I just had a team and i just lost them oh man I- they- it might have been a- like a b-list team and anyway, um, yeah, man. Do you ever? What do you think? What do you think about the? Uh, how do you say it? the? The relationship. What do you feel about the relationship between OGs and new gens today? Uh, that's funny. You know, I think everyone's. Everyone's opinion is different, right? Yeah. Because what I'm seeing a lot personally, right? Because a lot of OGs, there's a lot of OGs on my friends list, right? On Facebook. Yes. yes so I yes. just po- started popping back up on Facebook a few months ago. And it was just because of Teddy's event. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I want to see some videos. But I started popping up that there are some OGs that are starting to come back. And I've seen this more and more the past, I would say, four months, four yeah. or five months. Who 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 came back or like who's starting to like make some noise? Because I just I I don't really know. Uh, some of these are just like Facebook friends, but people that say they started 2010, 2011, yeah. 2012. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 like yeah. Seeing, oh, The most recent one, Bonkers. Yeah, I just saw him post uh, the other day <laughs> or yesterday. Yeah, dude, fucking Bonkers, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, so like I would say there's there's true OGs. Anyone that's like an out. Times have changed, right? There was a period where OGs was pre-2010. But I say now anyone 2000, 2012 and before that are starting to come back are super supportive. They're yeah. super excited. Yeah. I think what we really need is like a new product. That's what gloving really needs. Like I love the duos. I love the duos that are really out right now. But like a lot of glovers don't want super elaborate like gloving gear. They just want to turn on yeah. something that looks good. Yeah, the barrier and I to think entry. That's, that's what's really like missing, and I think that's what's keeping a lot of like people from picking it back up. You know, like I don't want to drop two hundred. I'm I'm thirty one years old. You really yeah. think I wanted to no. drop like two hundred dollars on some lights? I I absolutely, like when I yeah. you know my car needs this or that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's it's harder to. Um... It's harder to be like, yeah, let me just drop an easy two hundred to three hundred dollars right now and just get some new pair of lights versus the mindset. Okay, I could get like this. I don't know this maybe eighty dollar pair. That's like you know, it's it's way cheaper. But then I mean, you, you kind of have to go through some like mental gymnastics. But then in the end, like you just save more money buying the rechargeables or or the two hundred because like you you stop spending batteries. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but I think the, that goes to my topic of like yeah. you know, I think what really needs to happen is like. Some people in the middle, because I think the people that I kind of disagree are like the 2014 and above, yeah. right? Who have been doing it for a while. Yeah. Like, no, nah, bring back the old school vibes. They just want a simple life. Old school vibes <laughs> yeah. that are coming back. And they're like, nah, just bring me something new and easy <laughs> yeah. to use. What, what? But I think, I think it's just really to like those mid gens and those people that yeah. are currently out to really bridge that gap for everyone. What light did you use for your like entire glowing career? Uh, shoot, I've used almost Bulbs. every chip. You, you yeah, what, what yeah, you, mainly bulbs, mainly, yeah, mainly bulbs, yeah, gotcha. mainly bulbs. Yeah, no. I think when I used programmables was when I was sponsored by Futuristic, and that was just because oh. I really wanted to use the accelerometer, yeah, yeah, dude. Like, because I'm like, I've been so uh conditioned to programming like easy lights or amazing lights chips, bro. It took me such a long time to get to understand the duos, you know what I mean, like. The, yeah. the the programmability is so it's so confusing. I'm I'm so I'm like 
I'm trying to program easy lights on the duos, bro. Like, what am I doing? Like, I like yeah. program to 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 program easy lights. Um, but yeah, no, absolutely, bro. And and I totally see it too. Like, they're maybe maybe not. I I don't have a a, a bunch of friends um, or OG Hawaii glovers that joined from that time. But I'm noticing that there are uh some uh really high level glovers who kind of stopped during COVID and then they're coming back now. Jacob's one of them, right? Jacob yeah. is one of them. Yeah. And they're coming back. I, I'm slowly starting to see these 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 glovers um get get into it um just because it's fun. You know what I mean? Not because of anything now, like not because of like like sponsorships, the whole the whole thing is so different now. It's like it's like not even about like sponsorships mainly anymore. It's not about like the big competitions. It's truly it feels like truly people are getting into it because they miss it, right? Yeah. Um, and that's yeah. really cool. That's really awesome to see, man. Um, what do you think? You know, and this is, uh, I guess we can like kind of just uh step more towards like you know just kind of like overall gloving topics, right? But like, uh, what do you think? We'll get gloving back to that, if 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 any at all to that that state that it was back then. Do you think that there's another that there could be a another potential peak? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Like a new golden era. Yeah, I think we yeah because we can never go to the past golden era, right? Never, never. But I think right now we have potential and an opportunity to create the new golden era. Yeah. What do you think that'll take? New products. New products. products excite people. Yeah. So like yeah. right now, I think what's really cool is like LED gloves has maintained gloving alive. You know, glow, glow yeah. LEDs. My bad. Glow, glow LEDs. LEDs. Oh, LED gloves glow has LEDs. has been making. Yeah. yeah, has been doing stuff yeah. too. Glow yeah, glow LEDs, man. Yeah, and that's just like an easy idea off of someone really just like, I'm gonna really cater to casings. Like, yeah. No one caters to casings, right? Yeah. And that's how yeah. that really started. Yeah. And look where it's at now. Right, you know? right. It's a supplementary yeah. to not even the microlight is the supplements to the microlight, which is yeah, which is great. It's a great, it's a great business idea as well, because because I mean those casings are freaking amazing, bro. Like the best casings. Oh yeah, for sure. yeah. Dude. Oh yeah, for sure. I just picked up like some red casings to build my forever set. Like, <laughs> like I have a forever set that I'm keeping forever, and like low LEDs gear is part of my set. Wow. So I say gear. like, yeah, I think new products always in, uh, in, like excite people, right? And excitement creates creativity. Yeah. Right? And that's how you get new content. Yeah. I think another thing is just like get out of the bedroom. <laughs> get out of the bedroom. <laughs> you know? And what you're doing is great, man. Like I've, I still you. think like there's that space of like more people doing what you're doing, even a whole like YouTube channel dedicated to just like videos, gloving videos like that, like Yak Films. Yeah. You know, but strictly to gloving, you know, really just people need to see these highly skilled people who love the art. Yeah. Do it more often Absolutely. because that's what really like inspired people to do it. That's what inspired me to do it. I, what inspired me to do it was seeing Loki wearing a like Halloween mask and like doing moves with a sword. And stabbing himself, I'm like, whoa! He's doing all this with light. <laughs> that with your lights, you can dance with lights in your hand. Like, yeah. wow! You know, it's, that's what's what I think we really need to do and keep doing. Uh, and what Andres is doing too is great. Mm -hmm. He's really keeping, you know, the, yeah. the art alive and like Absolutely. leveling up the art. You know, yeah, yeah. We're going into this fun direction now. You know, yeah, oh, and, yeah like, we had sure. like this drought period, especially when Amazing died or all the companies died. Now it's kind of going in this fun direction, and we just need to keep that momentum going. And I'm really glad that you know uh, PLL will start to make more content. I'm excited for the for the new news. What do you think has been like PLL's greatest achievement? And this doesn't have to be anything that's like competitions or anything like that. But in your opinion, what do you think are some of the great achievements that that PLL was able to? um do for the gloving community or just amongst yourselves like you, you know what i mean i think is just being alive just existing yeah, yeah. you know because like we have members who aren't like active or we've even had members who we added who weren't really putting videos out and they're always in the chat you know yeah they're always in the chat sometimes we have uh some like members who go through stuff in life 
You know, we recently had a member who just, his father passed away recently. And, you know, he's always in the chat feeling that we can't ever fill that hole, but we could help. Yeah. So I think our greatest achievement is, again, that familial aspect that we have. It's like a gift that we give each other. It's so weird. Like, um, one, one of our members brought it up, like, one of the houses when he had just gotten on. He's like, man, it's so weird. It's so weird how we could all just be like this, like, so open with each other. And he's like, I've only known you guys for a certain amount of hours. Yeah. Like, in person, we only have so many hours to actually physically be in, in, in each other's presence. But you know, the personalities and who we are and how we carry ourselves in every day. That's really like, I think our greatest achievement. Dude, I, I, I totally feel that because, um, I told this story before, but like when I went to the Philippines, some of the Philippines guys came out to, to, to meet me and I, I had known that, I mean, I had known, I'd met them for only 30 minutes, but there was a vibe and a connection there where I felt like, yo, these are like my brothers. Like uh, I'm yeah, telling them dude. stories, yeah. bro. I got chills right now because like, man, like, you know, I miss I miss them, and like, I, I, if if that's the the same feeling that that's like what what it's like with PLL, dude, that's honestly so special, and it 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 speaks to, you know, it just shows that gloving is just more than just gloving. You know what I mean? There, yeah. Oh yeah. There's sure. there's a social aspect. People connect. We have there's like minded individualness. There's relationships, friendships, like family people who are willing you know to connect the people who are connecting with each other on this much deeper level because of their shared love through lights man right um spirit figures bro um and that's something that i feel like that doesn't get talked about often in any way shape or form in terms of gloving content it's always about usually skill competitions the new product, what's happening, which is all, which are all great, nonetheless, for gloving. But people forget that the reasons why these legacy teams are so important is because they're not just teams; they're family. These are this is family. These are people who has each other's backs. Like people who won't, won't quit this team just to, you know, have to join another team or like, I mean, well. I mean, I take that back. I mean, unfortunately, right? It, it's happened before, which sucks, bro. That's it a sucks. Fast. That's, <laughs> That's a fast. fast. Right. I take a lot. What am I talking about? But anyway, but like, it, it, I'm just saying that it's more than just getting onto that team just because of a skill, right? There's There are genuine connections that happen when being on a fam and not just a skill tag. Right? Yeah. But yeah, still, yeah, respect yeah. to the skill tags for, for keeping part of the living alive whichever ones are alive but like yeah oh, man dude. i think let i think go, yeah, what skill tags are you on what skill tags are you on uh, wave tough family yeah uh wet that's it oh wet. Oh, okay yeah yeah dude what's yeah. an interesting one because uh uh I, what's always been like uh because you get the wet's got, got like a bunch of different like from everywhere right or is not just yeah. california right Nah, nah, yeah, nah. yeah, anyway, it's, yeah. yeah, it's liquid, liquid, yeah, for it's sure. just a liquid, liquid based, uh, or liquid emphasized team, right? Yeah, that's that's what's always been a really fun one, a really interesting one. But hey, brother, hey, I, I, you know, uh, I appreciate everything that we talked about, brother. Um, do you have uh, anything last, any, any last things that you want to say to any of the viewers out there, or uh, where can we find uh, PLL? Uh, yeah, you could find uh, Find us on Facebook right now uh, at Peace Love Light Shows. Uh, you can think, I think we have an Instagram, but it's not as active as For it sure. used to be. Like all the um, other team can, Instagrams. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, but yeah, really just like Facebook, YouTube. Um, yeah. Facebook right now is just, just seems to be like the, 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 the place to be right now. Yeah. For now. Uh, yeah. Gloving.com in the future. We'll see how that grows. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm excited because I love the original throw lights mm. and I miss the original throw lights when it was just a forum. Mm. Gotcha. I've always missed that. I've always, because again, how I got on was on Flirt Life, which was the same thing. Yeah. It was just a MySpace for, for ravers. So that's, that's awesome. You know, we need another platform to go to. So I'm excited. I'm excited for sure. For sure, brother. For sure. And then, yeah, do you have any last, uh, I guess maybe, I don't know if it's, per, you know, pearls of wisdom you want to share with anybody or any last uh, things you want to tell anybody to all the viewers? Um, yeah, I mean, really just 
keep an eye out for future events that we're going to be throwing. We have that big event that I mentioned. So that'll be sometime next year. I guess inspiration that I really have for you guys is just keep being your true, authentic selves. That's what's always most important and originality. You know, don't be yourself. Find out what, what makes you happy, the styles that make you happy, and just carry them on. And really, you know, just represent yourself well because uh, you represent all of us. Absolutely, bro. Like we glovers need to stick together and make this shit, make this shit pop off, man. We're we're all in the same boat in the end. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. dude. But uh, dude, once again, bro, thumbsy. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate everything, brother. Take care, man. Yeah, so I appreciate you. Of course. Later. Peace.